Hello, I am a full stack developer and a top rated plus freelancer at Upwork.com. If you have not subscribed my channel, you can subscribe now. It helps to create more courses and tutorials for free. So let's get started. Amazon S3 Simple Storage Service is a highly scalable, object-based cloud storage service provided by Amazon Web Services. It allows users to store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere on web. To configure Amazon S3 to store your Django project static and media files, okay, we can follow some steps. First of all, we will need to create our S3 bucket, okay? So you have to log in into your AWS account. Just type S3. Click on S3. Okay, click on create new bucket. Give bucket name. I will give name backend course. Okay, then you can choose your region. Okay, I will choose this by default Virginia region. Okay. And then you have to keep this settings by default. Disable this option. Okay, so okay, next we can keep other settings by default. Okay, in advanced settings, we can keep the settings by default as well. Create bucket. Okay, so our bucket is now created. Now let's move to your Django project okay at the bottom of setting start by file you need to add some lines okay you can copy these lines from my article I will add this article in my video description okay just copy these lines go to your settings dot py file okay so here you need to replace few things okay access key ID secret access key ID okay and storage bucket name okay and signature everything so first of all we have already created a bucket so i will replace the bucket name the bucket name is backend course okay and we will keep this s3 signature name as by default okay and then we have to write the region name okay so you can easily get go to your aws okay so this is our bucket name okay so just copy this part of AWS region and go to your Visual Studio in your settings.py file replace the region name okay then we need to change these two things which is AWS access key ID and secret how we can get this go to AWS go to the home page You need to create an IAM user that has permission to access your S3 bucket. Type IAM, okay, the first one. Okay, so this is our IAM management console. Click on user, add a user. You can give any name S3 access click on next okay so here we need to attach a policy okay you can attach policy s3 full access you can write amazon s3 full access okay you can select this next okay so policy is attached create user 
okay user is created now okay now let's copy secret key and access key okay for this you can go to security credentials and scroll down to access keys create access key okay and here you can choose local code and select i understand next okay you can give name as 3 access okay all right so you can create access key no okay so this is our access key we will copy this and we will replace here okay and for secret key we can copy this key and we can place this key here make sure don't public these keys okay if your data is important okay so i am just doing for a, a tutorial purpose after making this video i will delete these keys so all right so we have access key bucket name okay everything is set up now okay the configurations are done next we have to install a package go to your terminal all right so you have to run pip install booto3 package so this booto3 library will interact with s3 from your django project all right now we can run our server to test our s3 integration run server okay just copy this and go to your browser all right go to the admin all right let's go to product table so we can add a data because product table has an image field so we can test okay so we are getting an error okay no module found okay so we need to install the package for this okay so you can easily uh, copy this package from google okay just copy this and install this package so our s3 then will work okay so package is installed no i will just run again okay okay so you can now visit your server all right refresh it great okay so you can now add a new product this will be a dress product and in detail okay price you can give okay so here is thing we are going to upload image so it will be automatically uploaded to s3 so i will choose an image okay and then we have to choose category and save all right so our image is stored now let's visit aws go to s3 all right open your bucket so we can check if the image is uploaded yeah okay our folder is there so you can see this is our image which we have uploaded using django admin interface okay so if you want to open this image you can also open okay so i have uploaded this image so it is successfully uploaded on s3 you can also test it using django admin as well you can just click on this image so you will see this image path is linked with s3 okay all right 
So with these steps, you should be able to configure your S3 to store your Django project static and media files on AWS, okay? So if you have already existing some uh, media files, you can also run python manage.py collect static as well, okay? So we are done with our S3 integration with our Django project. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or feedback, leave a comment below. I will get back to you. Stay tuned for more courses and tutorials. And until next time, goodbye.